Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Montana 3820FK. This five slide front kitchen RV actually won the 2016 RV Business RV of the Year Award for its phenomenal design. So let's go ahead and start on the outside, we'll make our way around, then we'll head on in. Right up front you'll notice the front cap, one of the things I love about this coach is the beautiful front window right there. You'll see when we get inside it really gives you a nice view and lets in a ton of natural light. But also it's a great look, you have an LED light strip on the top as well as right down here below. Uh, mirror here as well, so that way as you are backing up you get a good picture of your kingpin, that way uh, you can just back straight in. Also this is the more ride kingpin, this is very advantageous as well. This has rubber and will actually have three inches of travel. So that way, uh, you know, as you're starting and stopping, that rubber is going to absorb the shock and you won't get the bucking and chucking that you generally have while towing a fifth wheel. As we take a look underneath, go ahead and open this up for you. You'll see very clean storage, it's uh, well organized. And over to the side is the battery box location. That also has a secondary door right here, so it is nice and easy to access. Then tucked away right there, this is the level up system. This is phenomenal. Automatic hydraulic leveling. Touch a button, the coach levels out for you, and it also has a memory. What that means for you is when you're getting ready, you're packing up camp, you go to hook up with your truck, all you have to do is touch the auto level button again, and the RV will actually move to where you dropped it off at, so you can just back your truck right in, making things a lot easier for you. I'll go ahead and open this door up for you. You'll see right there, 30 pound propane tank. You have one on this side and then one on the other side as well. And then right next to that is your pass through storage. You can see in there you do have TV hookup, so if you want an outside TV, you can certainly hook one up there. Also, slam latch baggage door, so it is easy to close. Outside electrical outlet, so if you do want to plug in anything right out here, you can do that as well. Now this coach does have two entrances. This is going to be the main entrance. Four aluminum steps to get into the coach. I like the aluminum steps. They're not going to rust out on you. And if you take a look, you have these rubber strips going across so you're able to get extra grip. So if it is early in the morning or it rains, you're not, uh, you're not going to slip and fall. Also right here, easy grab handle. This will assist you to get into the coach. A couple other things. Let's take a look up top. There's a lot of things I like to talk about on Montana. If we start at the very tip top, you'll see the roof. This unit does have a rolled roof edge. Big advantage of that, less chance for water intrusion because it's going to roll over the sides of the RV. Also, if you do brush up against anything, whether it's a tree or a structure, there's less chance to tear that membrane open because it's not a, as sharp as a uh, corner. So that's very advantageous. And then over all of the slides, you will see the slide out toppers. Uh, the reason you want those is it makes it a lot easier to clean up. Instead of having to get up there and sweep the tops of the slides off before you put them in when you're done camping. All you have to do is just pull, pull your slides in and then everything that's up there will roll right off for you. Power awning right there as well. This does come over the middle slide here. Large power awning which covers both doors. So when the awning is out, uh, again, you get good area right here. Um, and that's of course going to provide some extra shade as well as protection from the rain. Now Montana is capable of four season living, so uh, everything underneath is enclosed and heated. Your valves are all encased, so you don't have to worry about anything freezing up on you. Big advantage of that, Montana does recognize full-time RVers. A lot of people don't know this, but most manufacturers, if they find out that you're living in your RV full-time, they will pull out that uh, manufacturer warranty out from underneath you and you won't be covered. Not the case with Montana, they will cover you for, uh, even though you are a full full-time RVer. Let's take a look underneath real quick here. A couple quick things I like to show. One is the aluminum rim, so it's not uh, going to rust nearly as quickly on you, which is great, and it has a really cool look. And then right in the middle here, that's the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system. That will give you three inches of travel, which in conjunction with that Moride Kingpin really makes this a smooth tow. 
frameless windows on this coach as well. Uh, not only are frameless windows a lot more aesthetically pleasing, but also because of the way they open, they tilt open this way, that will allow you to keep them open while it rains so you can still get good airflow. And the seals are behind the tinted glass, so it's not getting beat up by the elements, which is going to increase the longevity of the windows. Right up above those are outside speakers, just something Montana uh, started doing recently on their units, and that's controlled by your multimedia center inside. Uh, cool thing about that is if you're sitting out here, that multimedia center is Bluetooth capable, so you can be relaxed and underneath the awning, go ahead and use your cell phone or tablet and be able to control your music uh, right outside here. Of course, the second entrance right there, again, four aluminum steps to uh, enter the unit, and we'll take a look at that a little bit more when we go in. But for now, let's shoot around to the back side and the off door side. The back of the Montana features a attached ladder. That way you can just climb right up for any roof maintenance or if you need to get up there and sweep off some sticks or anything that falls on the roof before you pack up to leave. Also, if you look front and center there in the top is a backup camera. So that's nice and convenient. This is a big rig. So as you are backing up, it's nice to be able to uh, have that extra view. That way you can see where you're backing up, make sure you're not gonna hit anything. Underneath that, of course, big rear picture window right there. That's in the bedroom of the RV. Uh, we're gonna look at that when we go inside as well. But that's cool too because it lets in a ton of natural light. And if you do have you know, lakefront or oceanfront view, you can enjoy that. The other cool thing I like to talk about on the windows of a Montana, every window on a Montana opens. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. They may put in this rear picture window, but it doesn't open. Not the case here. You can open this up and get a nice breeze into that bedroom. Come around to the off-door side with me real quick here. Now the pass-through storage isn't huge on this coach. It's not as big as you normally see on the Montana. So to help make up for that, this is the storage underneath your king bed. So you have great storage right here. This of course is that storage under the bed. So you have the dual access points. You're able to get to it from either side. Now if you move uh, down a little bit further, this is your uh, black and gray tank. This is one of the two gray tanks right there. This coach does have two gray tanks. So that will be one of the dumps. Then if you follow me right up here, I'll show you where the other one is located. So this right here will be your uh, other gray tank. This of course is to the front kitchen. And then right here's the convenience center. So I love that Montana does this. If you take a look, everything's nice and centrally located here. You have the outside shower, everything for winterization, your water hookups, battery disconnect, and it's also prepped for solar. So if you do want solar on this unit, all you have to do is buy the Furion panels. You can set them out, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge the batteries. All right, folks, that's gonna finish it up on the outside. I know it's beautiful, but just wait till we get to the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Montana 3820 FK. This particular model is in the macadamia interior. So right up here is the front kitchen, absolutely beautiful. Right in the nose of the RV, very unique floor plan. They put a big U-style dinette, extremely comfortable, and this really does make a great space. Whether you're sitting here eating a meal, if you wanna entertain and have guests over, you have a great space to play a game, whether it's a game of cards or really whatever you want, but I love the space up here. Also, the front shade, I currently do have this down for video quality, but when the shade is up, it's a roller shade, uh, kind of like every Everything in this coach but when that is up it's a great view out the front and it lets in a ton of natural light which is phenomenal now I know when I said uh, when I was outside I said that all the windows in the Montana open this is the one exception is the one right here in the front cap but we do have windows on the side to open up for cross ventilation and if you look right up top you have the max air fan which does a great job of circulating air through here now getting in on this side is normally a little tight but what you have is this right here it's a lever you just pull this lever and you can swing this either way so that way you can turn the table making it nice and easy to get in. Then right next to that, Norcold fridge freezer, 18 cubic foot. This is massive. This will have both electric as well as propane hookup, or, or runoff, I'm sorry, runoff both electric and propane. But you can see in there, it's plenty of space here, which is great. And same thing with the freezer. So a ton of space in here. 
Moving over a little bit further, this is of course the rest of our kitchen area. You can see you have awesome countertop space right here. So phenomenal prep space. Starting up top, convection microwave, oversized. Take a look at that. Of course, I have a bunch of stuff in there, but that's gonna be 30 inches wide. So uh, awesome convection microwave right there. The thing I like about convection is it'll cook your food faster and it's uh, quicker and easier to clean. So very cool. Right over here, great storage space right up there as well. And underneath, as I mentioned, uh, big countertop space, bla uh, backsplash, and extra plug-in right there. You have covers for both your cooktop and your sink. The cool thing about this, a lot of times you don't have places to put your cooktop covers. Look at that, how smart. They built hinges in there so you still have the beautiful solid surface cover and you just fold it right back. Kind of creates a nice backsplash there too which is easy to clean. Three burner Atwood cooktop. The front one is high output. Stainless on the top as well as in front to match the rest of the appliances. And you can see right there, if you want to do any baking, you have plenty of room if you don't want to use your convection. Right here, we'll open this up. That's nice storage right down below. Uh, this box is the monitor for your backup camera. Uh, that'll just go right in your vehicle. As I mentioned, that way you can see why you're backing up. Bank of four drawers, full extension ball bearing drawers. You can see they give you a uh, silverware divider right there, which is cool. And then right over here, so as I mentioned, the sink top covers, these are cool too. These of course just come off like so. Uh, you have the smaller bowl right here on the right, but check out this bowl on the left. It is absolutely massive. It's huge, it's deep too. A lot of manufacturers put in a shallow sink. It may be wide, but it's shallow, and you can't really fit pots and pans in there. Not the case here. Montana knows that a lot of uh, the, the RV buyers that are purchasing their RVs are full timers, so they give you uh, sinks that can fit full-size pans. Now, same thing. A lot of times you don't have places for the sink top covers. Not the problem with the Montana. You can see they put in this divider right here. So when you take these off, just slide it right in there, which is very convenient. And a spot for a trash can, just exactly where you want it, underneath the sink. Over on the other side, a little bit of additional storage over there too. Uh, High-rise faucet on here I want to add, which is fantastic for doing dishes. Nice and easy to use. It is a pull-out faucet there. Uh, beautiful little bar top here. Uh, you have some extra LED lights. It's very bright in this front kitchen. Uh, Maybe tough to see on video quality, but I'm telling you when you step in it, not only do you have a ton of LED lights, but right above me right here, you have a beautiful skylight, which again, lets in a ton of natural light during the day. Now, a uh, kitchen just isn't complete in an RV these days without a pantry. And the thing I love about the front kitchen, you have an entire slide out pantry right here with a bar top and a window. So it's phenomenal, you have a plug-in, so if you wanna put in a coffee maker, a toaster, something over here, you can. Maybe you want a bar, maybe you're gonna set up a margarita bar, perfect place for it right here. But great storage, you have tinted glass storage there on both sides. And take a look underneath here, great storage all the way around you can see that's nice and deep they already put a shelf in there so that way it's nice and easy to divide things uh, right here in the center two full pull-out drawers you have the finished face on there as well so again you know it's nice being able to pull everything out so let's say a toaster right talk about a toaster you can put a toaster in there you can hide it when you want it pull it out you know you can use it and then same thing on this side as it was on the other side just great additional storage all right, that wraps it up for the front half here in the kitchen. Let's take a step down below. We'll look at our living room. The living area, the 3820, is nice and large due to dual opposing slides right here. So you get a ton of floor space, which is exactly what you want in your living space. Uh, also, on both sides, there are uh, dual tri-fold sofas. The reason they're able to do that in a Montana is this has a 100-inch wide chassis, which is about 4 inches wider than most of the competition. While 4 inches doesn't sound like a lot, it does add great space in things like hallways and just like this. You're able to get two tri-fold sofas to fold out that will basically meet in the middle. But that creates a ton of extra sleeping space if you have guests that want to stay. Otherwise, they make extremely comfortable couches, great for entertaining, windows all the way around both slides as well as LED lights. However, the best seat in the house, in my opinion, is right here, and that's your dual theater seating. Both of these do kick up, so you can sit back, relax, recline. Cup holder there in the center as well, and that's straight across the TV, which I'll show you in just a second. But first, I want to point out, heading up the steps, right down 
down here, this is the central vac system. So what you have, this one is where you hook up the hose if you want to, you know, vacuum up. Or you also have a toe kick right here, which is really nice. So think of this kind of like a hair salon style where you just sweep, you just sweep, you go ahead and lift this up. You just sweep everything in just like that, close it down, you're done. You saw it had a little light that kicks on there, so you're not going to miss any dirt as you're sweeping it up. But as I mentioned, when you're sitting in the theater seating, you can take a look right over here. This is your entertainment center, absolutely beautiful. They did a wonderful job. Of course, TV uh, right here, and then up top is a sound bar for superior sound quality. So that way, as you're watching a show, you're getting as close as you can to that theater-like experience. Then right down below is your uh, fireplace. The thing I love about a fireplace not only does this add a really nice look but it also does a great job of helping to take the chill off in this space uh, this is essentially an electric space heater so the cool thing about that is if you don't have to pay for electric that's free heat so very cool then along the side excellent storage right here uh, up top all along the side there storage perfect for your DVD collections and then this is the multimedia center so I did touch on this when we were outside this controls the outside speakers uh, it controls the speakers in here and then this also is uh, Bluetooth capable as I mentioned and it's a DVD player so if you want to watch a movie it's all pre-wired you can pop it in and watch it right there on the TV one last thing I want to talk about um, you know when you're in this RV you're watching TV you don't have to worry about having the AC that's just gonna blast out a bunch of noise you don't have to turn it up uh, super loud to hear it the reason for that is if you look right up here so these are the air intakes for uh, your air conditioner instead of having that big unit right in the center that blows down on you the reason you have these air intakes is because this is a quiet cool AC what that means for you is this is about 30% quieter than your standard AC so again you don't have to turn the TV way up to hear it if you're having conversation you can have it without having the air conditioner blast over everyone all right that's going to wrap it up for this space let's head on back we'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom one of the other features i love about the montana is when you step into the bathroom what they've done is instead of having a door that swings one way or the other where you're always blocked off they put in this pivot door which is really cool so you can see how the action right here how it pivots that way you're able to enter and exit the bathroom from either side then when you come in right up top here you'll see some great extra storage perfect for any toilet paper or other uh, things you have to put in there then right down below a foot flush porcelain toilet and take a look at this this is beautiful you have a one-piece residential shower in here you can see you have a seat you have great shelving you have the hand wand with the adjustable shower bar so that way you can go ahead and move that to your height and up top is a huge skylight letting in a ton of natural light also a shower door on here that's a sliding shower door that way all the water stays in the shower pan doesn't dump all over the floor right across the way over here big medicine cabinet mirror there of course LED light storage behind that towel ring right here take a look at this solid surface countertop in your bathroom a lot of manufacturers don't do that they try to cheapen it up not Montana solid surface with a molded in bowl so less chance for any leaks in here and additional storage underneath and a hidden uh, right there is the hidden toilet paper holder all right let's head on back we'll take a look at the bedroom the bedroom features a king-size full walk around bed both sides also have uh, shelving and as I showed you when we were outside, a ton of storage underneath here. Electrical outlets on both sides as well, so if you do need to charge a cell phone at night, you can easily do that. Windows on both sides to open for a great cross breeze as well. Large headboard, so if you want to sit up and read a book, you can. And you have the LED lighting there to assist with that. Storage all the way, ac the, uh, all the way across the top too. Now right over here, if you take a look, this is huge storage area. Or if you do want washer and dryer, this is prepped with your washer dryer hookup and so that of course is where your washer and dryer would go but otherwise that is a ton of storage right there as I mentioned we were outside this is the rear picture window this also does open uh, again I have the blind down for picture quality but this is a beautiful window if you have a view you can really enjoy it right here and you have an electrical outlet right down below then at the foot of the bed is a big wardrobe space so great hanging space mirrored wardrobe right here but you have a hanging rod that goes all the way across even in the 
back right here behind the TV. Uh, so just a ton of hanging space there. And it opens up, you have additional storage there. As I mentioned, of course, this is a TV. So if you wanna watch a show before bed, you can certainly do that. And rounding out the rest of storage right down here, you have a bank of nine drawers, full extension drawers there. So plenty of space all the way down below. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is the 2017 Montana 3820FK. It's a great floor plan. It's no wonder it won the 2016 RV debut. You have a ton of space, nice and open. That kitchen is phenomenal. Living area is huge. You have a ton of storage in the bedroom. This really is one you need to come and take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the video below, or you can always give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of the unit, such as length, or if you're looking for price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com, for the most up-to-date information. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.